Hey, what's going on, Pisces? Butch Darrow here. I'm going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the content, stick around subscribe join our community um it's a great community i may be a bit biased when i say that but uh, i really am amazed by the amount of people um that just truly care about each other and I'm, I, you know I, I i check out other channels great content but the community we have here just you know like i said i mean it's so loving and nurturing I, that's what i wanted you know and, and just to see other people reach out to other people by commenting on their comments you know giving each other advice making friends i mean that's what it's all about that's what i wanted and it exceeded my expectations and it continues to so uh, everyone is welcome i am going to be using the runic tarot and with all that being said Let's get it. And the rest of what's going on for Pisces. What message do we have for Pisces? Right, Pisces. So the first thing I see in, in the energy to begin with, the current energy, I, I, I feel like there's a lot of chaotic energy in your life. And I feel like this is due um, to a past person or a person that you already know. This is, you know, this could be someone you recently broke up with or feel like it, a connection that you're still involved with is coming to an end. You know, I just feel like a lot of chaos you know, I, I feel like I feel like this person doesn't give you what you need. You know, and I feel like this person let let you down one too many times. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like they really broke your heart. Like I said, I mean, this could be a past person that you recently just broke up with or or a person that you're still dealing with, but you kind of know this is, you know, your intuition is telling you that this is not where you should be. You know, it, it may have fit in your life at one point, but it no longer fits. Um, you know, one or both of you have already walked away from this emotionally with that Eight of Cups. I mean, I'm feeling like it's you that emotionally uh, is feeling separated from this person to be honest i feel like this person kind of i don't know if they ever really truly loved you but i don't feel like they do anymore and that's not really true love i mean i, I don't feel like it ever ends with true love i just feel like like i said i feel like it was if you look at love as in like a like a story in a book um there's characters that come in and they they play a role and that was the role they were meant to play. They weren't they weren't meant to be a main character. And I just feel like it kind of ran its course. But I do feel like you know you wanted to be more, and I feel like it has caused you. I mean, with like I said, with that three of swords, it, it, it's caused you heartbreak because I feel like it, it's not some it's not how you planned this going. 
But when one door closes, another door opens. And I feel like this is this this transition is going to happen very quickly. Uh, quick moving energy here. You know, I, I do see someone new coming in for you. And I feel like this person has gone through some shit themselves. And it's almost like, I feel like this is... I mean, I, I feel like it's almost like a bond through trauma. You know, I feel like you both kind of had the shitty end of the stick. You know, with relationships, you know, never really being able to find someone that just is there for you. You know, you get these part-time lovers and these people that just come in and they, they play their little role. But, you know, you're looking for that main character in your story. You know, and I, and, you know, I feel like this is exactly what you're waiting for. And that's the thing about, about love. You know, with that three of wands, that ship's finally coming in for you. Sometimes we don't see it coming. A lot of times we don't see it coming. And, and it's when we least expect it as well. Because I really don't, I, I, I don't feel like you're going to be expecting this at all. Now, I mean, like I said, there is this bond that you feel right away. I mean, your intuition is telling you there's something very different about this person. You know, there's something very different about their energy. You know, and I, and I feel like very easily you find yourself being friends with this person. You know, building this strong bond from the very beginning. And that's only the beginning, like I said. I mean, I see a strong foundation being built here. You know, you're ready for love. They're ready for love. You know, this person is emotionally mature. I mean, we have the King of Cups. Emotional maturity. You know, maybe that past person just didn't have it. But sometimes things have to come to an end. For new things to begin and more often than not the end isn't pretty you know it is like i said with that tower card things get a little ugly but like i said as well is if that person was still in your life that past person continued to be in your life you wouldn't have room to meet this person <coughs> Sometimes the universe works in ways that we don't see because we're not seeing the big picture. You know, and it's not till after we see the big picture. I mean, we have you in a situation where you're not feeling loved. You're not feeling appreciated. You're not feeling the connection with this person anymore. Um, you know, that anxiety, that feeling of defeat. And very quickly move into something completely different in a place where you feel completely open, where you can be completely open. You know, this person coming in, I mean, we have the devil card, you know, let, helping you let go of the things that no longer serve you purpose. And it's vice versa. I mean, like I said, I feel like this is a bond through trauma. You know, a lot of bullshit you, you both suffer through and, and you both deserve to find the person that can make you happy. That authentically wants to make you happy. And that's what I see with this person. I mean, like I said, I mean, this is someone that you can communicate with. This is someone that you can be open and honest with. You know, not having those boundaries. Uh, I feel like sometimes we get in relationships and, and it's... We have to go through the process. You know, you're not going to know on the first date everything about the person. That comes with time. And when that time comes that you find out things about this person that you may not like, or it may not, you know, sit, it doesn't fit into your future plans. I mean, we all got to go through the process. And I feel like you went through the process more than most. And I feel like this person, like I said, this person coming in, I feel like they dealt with their fair share as well. You know, and, and I said this before, but I feel like, I mean, it's, you got to know the counterpart, you know, and, and love is, 
Love is more when you know hate. You know, uh, it's that type of energy. I mean, it's without being sad, we wouldn't appreciate joy. You know, and sometimes you got to go through that rough, the rough shit. Like, like, what's that quote? Um, you got to put up with the rain to get the rainbow. And I feel like this is your rainbow. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it starts off in a friendship. Yeah, you are there for each other. It's very spontaneous. Um, but I feel like very quickly, y y both of you stop thinking about the past. Now you're almost excited for the future. And I feel like that's something we really need to look into. I mean, the potential between the two of you is clear from the beginning. You know, your intuition is telling you. And you need to listen. You know, very spontaneous, very flirtatious energy between the two of you. This is more than just a friendship. It starts off that way, but it develops very quickly. You know, it's the nurturing meets the protector. The nurturer meets the protector. I mean, the empress and the emperor. The king and the queen sitting side by side. And I mean, the queen and the queen, the king and the king, whatever way you, whatever way suits your, your life, um, whatever way you love, as long as it's rooted in love, it's all good, you know? Uh, but it's having one person that, that brings something different to the table and, and meeting someone that also brings something different to the table, which, you know, it, I read a book before and it said something, something along the lines, it's not actual quote it's not verbatim but um the quote was basically like we're two you know once when we're born we're a soul split in half and until we find the other half we never truly feel complete you know and i feel like this is something that i feel like that's this is what they were talking about you know i mean like i said i mean we have new love um that two of cups is, is all about that lifelong bond. And then we have that lover's card, you know, that, that bond being cemented, that, that deep connection to someone that goes much deeper than the physical. I mean, it's, it's not just being intimate in a sexual way with this person. It's about being intimate mentally. It's about being intimate emotionally, you know? And like I said, we're going back to the no boundaries. I mean, I feel like the both of you have a lot of love to give and just didn't find the right person to give it to. And now you can shower each other with that love. You know, and that's why we never feel true love until we meet our true love. You know, it's not something that's manufactured. You know, I say, I got nine of cups. I see a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of emotional fulfillment you know, I feel like you fill each other's cups up. And like I said, sometimes we cry over a past person because we felt like we had a connection. Um, but not until you meet the real person that was meant to be next to you can we let go of that, that past person or multiple past people. Um, but I do see you moving on very quickly because of the fact that, like I said, I feel like the love was dead in that past connection. If it ever truly was alive, you know, I, I feel like it, that person played the role in their, in your life that they were meant to play. Um, but they weren't, they weren't the one. This person, I feel like, I feel like they could be. I, there's a really strong chance they could be. There's a lot of potential here for it. You know, you make each other stronger being with each other. You know, if you look at the, I mean, and this is no knock to anybody, but if you look at the structure of family, you know, you have the two parents, you know, one is more the nurturer, one is more the protector. Um, it's, a, it's a unity that, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's strength. You know, we bring different things to the table if we're both protectors, you know, and it's not to say you're not a protector, and not to say the other one isn't nurtured, but we do it in different ways. We bring different things to the table. Um, 
you know, but like I said, that strong foundation being built with that four of wands. And we end this with that family card. You know, and that's what it is. It's all about that. It's all, it's all about bringing our strengths and weaknesses to a connection. You're never going to go and connect into a connection with just bringing your strengths in. Your, your weaknesses and strengths are both part of you. And you meet that person that counter counterbalances it. You know, like I said, two pieces of a soul coming together to create one. You know, and there's not many perfect relationships out there. But there is people that are perfect at making it work. You know, someone that shows up for you. You know, even on the dark days, even the hard days. And that's what I see with this person. This is someone that shows up for you because they know. You know, they know this is real. Just like you do. Like I said, with that high priestess. I mean, trust your intuition, Pisces. I mean, Pisces, in my opinion, are one of the most intuitive signs out there. But the problem is a lot of times we, you know, for the Pisces, I know a lot of times they know what the right thing is to do. They know... Um, the right path to take, but sometimes it's hard to make that decision. You know, and, and, and that's the thing with intuition. It's not going to always tell you what you want to hear. It's going to tell you always what you need to hear. You know, and I try to do the same thing. I mean, I'm not always going to tell you what you want to hear, but I will always tell you what you need to hear. Or at least in my opinion. You know, with this person, I mean, I just feel like there's some, this is what you've been waiting for. That past relationship was never going to work because it wasn't this person. Uh, now with this person we have, I mean, there there is some fire, like I said. I mean, we got that protective side with that emperor and then we have, you know, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. We have Gemini and Aquarius. Um, some Capricorn as well. You know, sometimes the only thing holding us back is ourselves. And it's not because it's intentional. It's absolutely not because it's intentional. Um, sometimes we get into a connection that we know is not really for us, but it, at, the, at the moment it's keeping us semi-happy. And that's because until you meet your true love, you never really know what true happiness is. You know, it's it's like having a favorite drink. And you love this drink, even though maybe it gives you heartburn or, you know, there's something about it that isn't perfect, but it's really good and you keep going back to it. And it's great, you know, it's great. And then one day, someone pours you this drink that they love or they pour you this drink that you've never tried before and you drink it and you absolutely fall in love. You know, and you completely forget about that other drink because the other drink wasn't perfect. It was good. It satisfied the instant need. But it wasn't perfect. Same as life. You know, it's... And that's the thing, I mean... If you've never tasted perfect then the best you can do is appreciate the taste of something that's that comes close. But personally, I feel like... <coughs> I mean, it's like... I mean, I, know, I don't know if the drink is a good metaphor. Um, like chocolate. You may have a different... A chocolate bar that you think is a really good chocolate bar. Maybe there's some things you'd like to change, but it's better than the rest that you've ever tried. And then one day you have this chocolate that's mind-blowing. And you can never really look at the old chocolate again the same way because now you know that this chocolate exists. I don't know if this even makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense to me. It makes sense to you, Comet. Uh, I want to know if anybody... like. I, 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 fortunately, I found a lot of people get my humor which I, I appreciate. Um, and it's good to know that other people exist that get it. You know, sometimes I, I say things and, you know, in my real life, and I feel like some people, it just goes over their head, but there's some people that just get it. And, and they're the people I dig. 
Those are people I, I like to be around. I, you know, people that are on the same wavelength of thinking. Um, but yeah, it's like you never, you know, you're never going to know until you know. You know, you could have been in a relationship where they treat you good, they're nice to you, you know, the sexual, the sex is good, you know, and, and, and whatever. And then you meet someone that, you know, and that's the thing too, is I always, I always think about that is, um, you know, you can be with someone that you're attracted to, the sex is good, you know, they're nice to you. <clears throat> but maybe you don't have that emotional and mental connection with that person. You know, and I always, I always talk about this is you're 10 out of 10. I truly believe that we all have a 10 out of 10. I believe that sometimes we can meet our 9 out of 10 and it seems really good because we don't know the 10 out of 10. You know, sometimes we have a 6 out of 10. They, they check 6 of the boxes on, of the 10 things that you want in a relationship. Or seven things, you're like, okay, that's really good because it's seven out of ten, that's seventy percent. But just know there's a ten out of ten out there for you. You know, so any issues you have that are, are major issues with someone, there's someone out there that you wouldn't have that issue with. You know, but it is hard to let go of an eight out of ten. It's hard it's really hard to let go of a nine out of ten. I'm not saying you should just saying that I believe they exist I wholeheartedly believe that but anyway that's what I have for you be good take care stay safe